What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my own part of the war. Let's play as the Italian States. So to pick up where we left off, we are now beginning to uh, fight in uh, northwest India to try and break the Ottoman strength. I think once we fight this army and we destroy this cluster of troops in battle, we are very close to uh, the final victory because the Medabad is under siege and that leaves just Ujjain and Nagpur. Nagpur is going to be sieged next turn and Ujjain is not far away at all from being attacked. But first we have to get rid of this force under Muzrat Rathor. So they've got rockets which would be a bit interesting to fight against but most of their army is made of mercenaries which is nice because they're more expensive. <laughs> uh, but let's, let's attack them and destroy them. Again they've managed to throw quite a large amount of troops into the northwest to prevent our to prevent our armies from being able to do as much of a blitzkrieg through their territory as I originally planned. But that's that's good, because it, mean, it means all those troops that held us, held us up in the northwest couldn't fight to the south and east and prevent our other attacks from being so horrendously successful. But this is where we are now. So let's drop our artillery down. Let's put a block of troops in the centre. So again, this is the thing with fighting against the Indian factions, is that the terrain is rather delicious. Nice wide open plains that are perfect for massed firepower and artillery. Yeah, that's okay. We do have quite a lot of uh, artillery, or how quite a lot of howitzers in this force. Let's put my curiosity on the right. So I might even deploy two, two units firing quicklime, and then two two more units firing round shot to pick off things like camels and so on at range. Should be some quicklime slamming down into this cluster of men. Yes! Delicious. Bring up my light dragoons. It's artillery unit blast the desert mercenaries with shrapnel shot. Boom, boom, boom. Good kills, good kills. New man drop into square. Bring up my cuirassier, let my dragoons continue to open up at will. Ooh, that's a close rocket inbound. Light cavalry pursue the camels. or Bashi cavalry in the distance. Canister shots at the ready. Shattered. They are also shattered, so hold position. Kids of Where's the rockets? There they are. Let's hit the dervishes. Let's bring the light cavalry in again. Oh, well, they're shattered. Kizobashi is shattered. Get these dragoons out on the flank. Bring this cavalry through hard and fast. Because a bashy cavalry there, it looks like it might hit my dragoons. Let's get my cavalry back over. Let's 
in folding in this flank. Just bring my cavalry back across and slam into the troops that are currently still fighting. Let's get some of my howitzers to begin plinking at the general's bodyguard and the camels to the rear. This fight isn't quite so good. My cuirassiers are going to continue to engage. You men engage the mercenaries. Okay, don't fight the musketeers. Chase down the enemy troops. Advance up with my line to prevent them from being able to quite so easily chase down my... Yeah, they routed and the cavalry on the right flank have routed, again understandably. Although they might actually come back, because there's only 75 of them that are lost. Knock out the camels at range, my heavy cavalry is collapsed. That's okay. Blast the camels with shrapnel shot. You men blast the Kizobashi. Hey, this regiment of foot now has a target. Point blank blast them. I knew these dragoons would come back. Pull the U-men back, you guys. Blast the 48th. These howitzers. Start bombarding them to the rear. Ah, these guys are going to hit my artillery. No, don't fight them. Man your guns. Pull this cavalry back because they're going to use that as an easy opportunity to sneak some kills against my chaps. Some charge into the dervishes in the rear. Some good quick line kills. Okay, I can probably run my cavalry around to attack the artillery. Okay, let's make all of our howitzers round shot only. Let's pick the artillery. Let's combine both these units, because they're both within range to attack that unit. Let's get this artillery to bombard General's bodyguard. Blast on the mercenaries. You men can run across and hit the rockets. Got one bow unit dug into the rear. There we go. Dervish is running out of troops. They're running out of men. Soon they will be down. These musketeers have held on quite well. So let's start to advance uh, troops to chase out this unit of infantry mercenaries away. all my howitzers to focus on the bodyguard now then we can take these units and do this pivot them to face off this section of men on the right flank that is still surviving these dragoons can charge the bowmen and 
my field artillery cease fire. You just charge in. There we go, you men. Open fire. They're only just a weakened unit of bowmen, so my dragoon should be enough to knock them out. All my howitzers engage the general's bodyguard. So push two units up one flank, push these two units up another flank, and then they, when they abandon their position they will be screwed. There we go, the enemy general's been routed. We'll keep engaging him, although I might just focus on the mercenaries with my howitzers. Just to make sure they experience some discomfort from incoming lumps of artillery. Well, from incoming lumps of iron, I should say. Yeah, so they're covering... They're sticking with their dug-in position. That's okay. My dragoons are... Oh, they might actually lose against the bowmen. Irony. Yeah, I needed some heavy... Heavy cavalry. This army needs heavy cavalry. They all need heavy cavalry. Yeah, these guys will experience cover from these two units that have pushed into the front. That's why you have units to the rear. All my field artillery that currently has no targets. Bombard the bejesus out of this poor bow unit that has no choice but to engage. Once these guys have reloaded, I should cause them some upset. They're encouraged their general's alive, but he is running away. Let's speed up time now, because that's just going to be... They've, they've withstood those, those volleys quite well. I suppose maybe they're not. So there's a bit of terrain issues at play here. But there we go. This time we took a bit of a hammering, but again, I do... Mm, you do really need that heavy cavalry. With the, due to the prevalence of enemy um, camels. I've pushed you back. Push Mr. Shivoni up to the front. Push you up. So who do I want to attack the, these troops with? They're both they're both depleted, but I don't know by how much. Ooh, Enrico Castro, let's send you in. Let's bring a proper... Bring out my reinforcements. Rico Castro, he is incredibly elite. They're only 42 years old, he currently has no traits that reduce the men's morale. He's just a fantastic general with a good force mix to bring to bear against the Ottomans. And yeah, yeah. They're not going to bring in this army, unfortunately. But the reinforcing army will be fairly chewable. But let's attack. Let us take out some more Indian troops. Because we, well, they're, they're done for. They really are done for. And this is why, uh, when I finished my Louisiana campaign, I didn't replace it immediately with a new campaign because once we break India then mopping up the Americas in the Italian in this campaign will be quite swift because think how many armies you've got in India that can just land pretty much across the entire continent and take anything we want okay so I'm going to split up my army a bit, well not split it up but I'm going to say okay deploy you there two guns two infantry units two guns 
two infantry. Ooh. Two infantry units. Yeah, my grenadiers are going to have to be... My grenadier guards, I'm sorry, are going to have to be on the left. Some Swiss mountain Jaeger are going to hold the flanks. And they are going to deploy... And that's quite a nice position, but it doesn't really help. Pikes on one side, heavy cavalry in the centre, lances on another flank. Deploy our howitzers. We've got Castro in the centre. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's a really not ideal position. But what this sounds like to me is a push on the right flank job. Because I don't want to have, well, I don't think I'm going to have much choice. Get some grenadiers up here. Get my Lancer Guard up here. Nope, Lancer Guard get in. You have to knock out the Zimindari Horsemen. The Horsemen of... Oh, they've... Yeah, they're, they're shifting. They are shifting. Managed to get my skirmishers up to safety. You men try and set that native lance unit. You grenadiers attack that unit of horsemen. This gun team switched to canister shots. You men switch to shrapnel and begin clearing out the enemy troops on the right flank. charge my heavy cavalry in to support the native lancers. You guys hopefully knock out the horsemen. My Jaegers are beginning to pew 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 the levy. Come on, kill the kill the lancers. Good. Push these men up. Oh god, these guys are they're upset. Let's get my lancers up here. We've got dervishes, these grenadiers. Where's my heavy cavalry? If you can knock out that lancer unit, I can spin my heavy cavalry around to do some good. Swiss mountain Jaeger are there. Swiss pikes push up. Got my Jaegers to spin. I mean, it's annoying we haven't got any sound here, but what do we do? Whoa! Halt! 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 That's crazy annoying. Get my lances in, get you in, get you guys all hitting the general's bodyguard, get my grenadier guards in and get the general's bodyguard as well. Artillery, just keep blasting them with everything you got. bring out my pikes to clear out the horsemen and musketeers on the right flank. There we go. That's the general's bodyguard going down pretty rapidly. I know he's upset. There we go. We've got him. Let's charge my grenadiers into the bowmen. Let's take my heavy cavalry and charge them up the hill into the the dak the dakil get my skit at my um swiss jaegers to run up i want them to deploy stakes spikes or my pikemen charging on the horsemen on the right flank start with them 
charge into the unit of Islamic swordsmen, because you haven't really got much of a choice. These units straighten up your line. Grenadier is going to do some good here. You men try and place stakes. So if you can, that will really help you against the Camel Nomads and other units that might try and form up. So they are shattered. Who are you? More horsemen to so advance. The troops here push up the flank. Let's see if. Advance to threaten the cavalry. Heavy cavalry charge the camel nomads. Lancer guards get down the hill. You men engage the Hindu warriors, but you're on guard mode. Lancers charge down the hill into the Kizilbashi. Who's that? Islamic swordsmen have returned. Hmm. Artillery all fire round shot. My heart is on firing, which probably has helped me out a little bit in certain areas. But you men just keep picking apart that unit of Hindu warriors. The heavy cavalry can branch off to attack the, gen the new general's bodyguard. My grenadiers knock out the camel nomads. My lancer guards have smashed into the musketeers and they have routed. Continue on into the bowmen. Shrapnel shot that unit of horsemen. My pikes have seen off that Islamic horseman unit. You men pivot. Oh, we haven't killed. We haven't killed the general here, but hopefully we can, because he's now routed, so he should be taking a lot more damage than he should ordinarily do. Good. So the infantry there are upset. Hopefully you can knock out this musketeer unit pretty ricky-tick. Then I can really start to charge men up the flank well up this hill to help out because right now it's if you can knock out the bows that would be perfect oh, poor swordsman bring our heavy cavalry back grenadiers form up get these swiss grenadiers to hit the bowmen in the rear push up our line to continue to threaten the enemy. You men have to charge the the, the um, you men have to charge the dervishes otherwise they'll just kill you. We've got yeah, cavalry's going to come in and hopefully do a good amount of damage to these Islamic swordsmen. Where's my mountain jaeger? Just try and make them run. Now they had to stay around to try to pin the enemy in position. So hopefully that's a Hindu musketeer unit dealt with. There we go. Swiss grenadiers get up the hill. Lancers get around the flank. Swords are done for. My grenadiers are not going to last in that action for too long. Let's bring our pikes over. To help out. Hopefully the Hindu Musketeers good. They too have routed. So now we can run our line up like so. Okay, let's try charge our lances into the rear here as well. You charge the Hindu warriors, my lances charge in, my pikemen charge in. I don't know how likely they are to stick around. My men are not in good, not in a good place. 
We've, bro we've broken one dervish unit, push into the Hindu warriors. Hey, we have sound. So I think everybody is kind of going to be charging on into the melee. Swiss pikes into the levee. This is turning into a bit of a, more of a Rome to a war battle, to be honest. Grenadiers out of here. Charge them up. Get my skirmishes up on the flank. Oh god, my grenadiers are routing the wrong way. Alright, let's just make them run a better direction, but not make them withdraw. Nah, you're going to have to fight the Hindu warriors. Smash them in. You men fire into the rear of this block of troops. With your rifles at close range, you should be incredibly dangerous. Let's stop our howitzers from firing. We'll stop our field artillery from firing. Our howitzers can engage the Indian mercenaries here. Hindu warriors, they're not bad. Okay, you... Oh, my Mountain Jaeger out of ammunition. Alright, you can definitely run away. Get a general over here. They're preferring to attack my Swiss Mountain Jaeger rather than actually bring us to battle. Okay, I might have to start doing... I'm going to start laying a carpet of quicklime and artillery fire. I don't want to advance any further than the combats currently are. So right now we're, we're, just, we're just dumping, dumping quicklime. Run my cavalry on, run my lances on. So everyone else, everyone else except for my cavalry and lancers, form a battle line. I'm just attacking ground where these guys are. Well, I'm dropping quick climb on their ooh, on their axis, rough axis of advance. Let's form up, form up, form up. more combat over here which isn't going to be really what we want but it's what we've it's what we've got let's run up into the rear over here so let's make sure our artillery is dropping round shot on well not you you just cease fire you can round shot the 29th. Now some of our, one of our artillery units is still charging. The dervishes are shaken. Our Swiss grenadiers have hit the enemy in the rear. Grenadier guards are very depleted. My Swiss Grenadiers might actually fall. Oh, I might have to start sending some of these units that aren't needed in the combat to form a new battle line. I think the Dervishes are. Yep, yeah, they're done for. Pikemen are very badly knackered. 
So bring our troops out of this combat and have them form up against this last infantry unit. Because we have plenty of infantry. It's all depleted, but we've got plenty of it. Form line. There we go. Keep dropping in. How oh, it's a fire. Yeah, there's only so. Even, even though th this is the single strongest unit they can, that's currently around. This is the only. Uh, there's only so many shots they can they can get off, and there's only so many units they can target at once. But yeah, this got messy. This got real messy. But this is why you throw so many supporting armies into the mix, so that in case you bugger up and things go wrong, things don't go completely wrong. But there we go. A significant victory for us on the northwest frontier. We have, well, that's a significant loss for them because lots of these units are now just Al done for. Enrico Castro, replenish. You can just we're gonna auto resolve against Syndicar Jang because that's just a cavalry, that's just a gun, a gun team. So the men are replenished. Enrico, replenish again. We don't really have a need to push against this unit just yet. Michel Contarini can attack a Medabad. Mr. Venturi isn't quite at the right sort of strength. Well, you could probably push that army away, but it might draw in these guys, maybe. I think it's probably the thing to do, though. Attack a Medabad with Mr. Contarini. We can try and do a quick battle here, but if not, we will um, just grind them into powder with our artillery. But yeah, next turn, two, the last two of their cities will be at risk, which I think we will just attack. Um, to be honest. <laughs> oh, no, no, sorry. They've got um, Lahore to the north, which is a bit more... which is a bit trickier. That's the one that looks like they're going to turtle up around and hold on to. Well, attempt to hold on to. <laughs> oh, my coffee's cold now. Oh well. I'm an animal. I'll still drink it. Right. Oh, no. Deploy a little bit back because they've got... um mortar team and the mortars can reach your deployment zone so you'll be a bit careful some incredibly elite infantry here and then we've got four units of infantry plus a unit of pikes to open up the front of the city which I think is going to be plenty Cool, you're a bit. Uh, you might have to go back here. Yeah, they can. But previously, they were limited on where they could actually attack. I don't think I was fast enough. I wanted to switch to. I wanted to switch to quick climb and start to clear out some of the chaps in the centre. We'll make our way in. They're engaging our supporting armies as well, so let's spread them out. The mortars are walking. That's a bit of a bit problematic. Is it good for quick climb? We just about tickle them. So let's also start to target some of their other 
units to help improve our chances. I might disconnect one to keep attacking the centre, but then use two others to continue to attack the enemy here. But let's notch this up onto the next level up. Because our artillery is going to be or is going to crack open the fort. It's unfortunate these guys are walking because it means that they'll cause us a lot of problems later on. Yeah, the one that's aiming at the centre might actually just start dropping round shot onto them. We've still got a lot of good cavalry in there. So then our howitzers will begin to attack. Hey, wait. How did you lose a gun? Begin to use our artillery to thin out the infantry units that begin to try and cover the breach. As soon as these guys are within range, to shoot at anything, pretty much, we need to start the attack. Well, no. When it's just the one, it's not so bad. Are you guys, is my field artillery engaging? Foot artillery. Foot, foot field. Same thing. Hopefully these guys have bugged and they're just going to walk outside and just keep going. You hit them, you guys. Okay, right, they've, they've started engaging now, so... Time to advance. Not great, but I mean, that'll certainly help. Artillery is firing at will. At, is it was it this, these that were shooting at their mortars? No, they've just stopped shooting entirely. Brilliant. Attack this section here because you might demolish the section of the wall that's currently got troops on it. Nope, they're firing into the middle. So I gave them an order and they just went, meh, screw you guys. So you guys walk, get a bit of stamina back. Because when you charge, you're going to be charging against a bunch of Hindu warriors, which is going to be not very good for your. Not going to be very good for your health. So let's advance up, begin thrashing the breach with musket shots. So who are you shooting at? Okay, you're shooting at the, the attack head on. It's a bunch of the sixth Dakil are upset. Just a round shot, attack the centre. Okay, where's my pikes? They're going to take position in the left-hand breach. They've started dropping quick climbs. We can't hang about. That's probably going for my pikes. But we managed to run at the right time. Begin the attack. Uh, 
That's right, run around like that. The longer they run around and the less time they spend on the fire step, the better. One of my units might actually hold off here. These units switched around shot, attack the centre. It's infantry, secure. Secure a foothold. These men are waiting. Either for the bridge to be, either for the, the gatehouse to be taken. Quick climb my pikes, that's not ideal. Should really, I think, have charged my. Charge my cavalry in to knock out the mortars as quickly as possible. Oh, my marines and my. these infantry are not going to even attack the wall at all. Just run in, run in. Not a problem. Yeah, it's a lot of mess here. This, this has got the capability to go spectacularly wrong. Attack ground, quick climb ahead of where we're fighting. Yeah, those Hindu warriors are going to cut up that infantry unit. Still have a significant amount of infantry fighting on the walls over here, which should really help. Form square, because you're about to get attacked by lancers. The, the quick climb attack ground is working, sort of. There's a few areas I think we have a real chance of breaking through. Obviously up here we have a fantastic chance. Round shot. Actually, no. Stay quick climb. Attack ground here. Boom. That would be a good hit if you can get that off. Unsurprising. That regiment of horse has fallen. Ideally, you guys want to get up onto the wall and just shoot the camel gunners. That's what I was looking for. Fundamentally, we've got a, that. Our unit there is fodder to fix these guys in position. You men charge forward. Yeah, there we go. So now these men can damage the camel gunners and knock them out. Let's get some Swiss line off the wall. To be honest, all this infantry get off the wall. Ignore that guy. I'm 
these units are engaging the lancers. I mean, I'm, I think I, this still is probably might be a narrow loss. I think. Simply because they've, I think they've gotten the more. Well, ultimately, this is going to turn into that slugfest I was talking about. I might try and run some of my units into the centre. It's the Venturi. Actually, if you guys nick that gate, if this cavalry unit gets in, and that means my reinforcements also have a great shot. No, nope, ignore the foot artillery. Just get to the middle. Don't, don't get upset and don't touch anyone. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. I don't want to engage these guys in combat. <laughs> Switch my howitzers to round shot. You tag the musketeers. So the clock is ticking. Form a square to fire in all directions. You guys can take this gatehouse. Now that means our general can also get involved. Enemy reinforcements are coming. At the very least, now, these gates are secured, so that means the cavalry has to run all the way around and back in through our breaches. We don't want to attack these guys, because we don't want them... They're not really doing anything, so I'm not that bothered. Run the cavalry in. Cavalry charge the artillery and get ready to engage that unit of Kizilbashi. No way. Charge through. Hit the lancers. Sorry, General. Now we reach the true nature of the this the, uh, the true nature of the city battles is Sometimes just trying to sneak enough men through that you capture the city. <laughs> you don't actually win. Haha, <laughs> Lance Zamandari Horseman, you can't do nothing. Can you attack the foot artillery just in case they think about doing something? Actually, no, ignore the artillery, they're doing fine. We're taking pot shots. Actually, no. Oh, I think that was like... I don't know where they were aiming that shrapnel shot at. I'm not sure where you guys are running either. But there we go. Whew. That was a bit dodgy. <laughs> but I'll take it. Ahmedabad is ours. Ahmedabad is ours. And we've just... Oh yeah, we lost a couple of units there. That unit that's reinforcing has been damaged. So let's repair the buildings inside. Michel Contarini. Good stuff. You're gonna, Mr. Venturi, you took a bit of damage, but I think they can't be repaired with a bit of cash. Everyone else has moved, more or less. You can... Yeah, leave the ships in there, that's okay. Everyone's moved, everyone's done stuff. Well, everyone's done stuff in India, we can't really do anything else. In the Americas, obviously, we've got... Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. So put, well, I was about to say put Savannah under siege, but actually what I want to do, first of all, is to... 
What I want to do is to begin to... Yeah, they're all going to start bumping into the back of each other. I could really do with fighting off some of these units and pushing them away. But yeah, I need to take Florida before I destroy India, otherwise all of these guys would teleport up here. And I could fight over here, but to be honest, it's just a bunch of gunk. Rubbish. So you, to be honest, nah, you just push, push towards Upper Louisiana, why the hell not? Sorry, Balthazar and Matarazzi. But because those armies are still there, you're not in range to fight them yet. So you're going to wait. I'm going to siege them. I think I'm probably going to hit in turn. Got a lot of stuff that could still be used, but it's just really not, <laughs> not critical. Altro. Stefano Ferrari. Get these men aboard. Over to America. I mean, there's no point trying to optimize everything because I've <laughs> got a long way to go. Well, well, I've not got a long way to go. That's the problem. Um, I think I'm going to hit end turn. Yeah, hit end turn. And see what happens. <laughs> Because the actual, um, well, the end of the Indian factions is near. And when we launch all our invasions in the Americas, that should, we should wrap them up fairly quickly. I mean, the more troops you run away from Lahore, the more interested I am in just bypassing you entirely and taking out the city. Because if we attack three armies, all of these troops disappear. I think that's got to be the right call, um, rather than fighting in the north in the North American region. Ooh, are you going to push up to a push up to us? So I don't know. I don't think this is going to be a river battle, but it looks like it will actually bring in a lot of their troops near Lahore. So I think it's, well, it's definitely no brainer because the garrison itself is knackered. So I don't know if it's going to be a river battle, but let's find out. Yeah, that will do a lot of damage to their garrison. Oh, not not Lahore, sorry, Akbarabad. This whole time I've been saying Lahore, Lahore, Lahore. But actually, Lahore's okay. It's Akbarabad. I am a goon. But in this instance, it might mean that next turn we'll see the we will see the end of the Indian faction. Because all three of their remaining cities will be within strike range. And here, the garrison might actually be almost destroyed it could well be a regular battle but you know you got to take a punt <laughs> so 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 two infantry so line infantry and a dragoon unit so because it is entirely possible that I get not screwed over that's me being a bit melodramatic but the um, the enemy spawn on my side of the of the riverbank. So I'm going to hedge my bets. And put one in the middle. So I think with quickline they still just about. I mean, you think it, it's possible they're deploying them in the centre is the smart call all the time. And it might be, because you cover both, but to be honest, you never really, they don't really send many troops over the, oh yes, there we go. They never really send troops over the bridge. So all my marines over here. Company infantry in reserve, skirmishes over, skirmishes to skirmish them as they cross the bank. Hey, they're trying to attack me. So a lot of their reinforcements are coming in from the the left, so there's a chance they try cross the river at the bridge.
But here comes all their reinforcements. I mean, I think we all know how this is going to go. Can we skirmishers? Yeah, they can reach across the river. Good stuff. But yeah, I think I'm going to speed up until the bulk of their main army is actually doing something, because otherwise we're just kind of adding adding time to something that doesn't need it. I mean, they might surprise me and go for the bridge here, but kind of why I've got cavalry and I did deploy some good troops. So if they do decide to go for it, It looks like they are going to try and go for it. It's a unit of Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. They're just trying to cross. They're not charging. The General's also on his way. But it looks like the bulk of their other troops are... going to cross at the ford. That wasn't their general then. You guys form line. These guys are hitting my infantry guards in square. To be honest, these guys are staying in this this formation just for the general's bodyguard. If he tries to make a crossing, we can deal with him rapidly. Get out of square, form line, and bring death and destruction to the general's bodyguard. There we go. Set one to attack ground already. Who's that also going over there? There is a unit of Ayadi. Armoured Cavalry. They're just going to trot across the river. I'm going to mostly focus on the ford, because that's the interesting bit, I think. Oh, yes. And with an almighty roar... They charged over. Drop into square. Yeah, those those chaps aren't gonna stick around for too long. Mm. They made a grave grave mistake attacking me here. Incredibly grave mistake. So let's just try and pick off some of these units as they march towards us. Human, get back out. Go. These lances getting picked out by my. Albanian warband. They are charging. But we do have a bucket load of marines here. So I can't imagine... <laughs> Even if they made it over here, they would not do much good. So another unit of lancers. More lancers after that. I wonder who they're going to go for, though. That's the question. My cavalry is just sat here. Happy as a clam. Drop into square again. It's artillery. Focus on the general's bodyguard. Just try to get rid of him. How it says one go for the dervishes, one go for... This unit of dervishes and another go for that unit of swordsmen. 
dervishes are going to try and cross over. Good luck to him, that's what I say. Got all these dead cavalrymen. God, it's just this is it's just a wall of marines, 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 marines. Don't worry, you've got hatchets. Just run over here. There we go, we killed the enemy general. Oh, a rousing cheer, but it's not enough. So who's that back there? Sapahi are back there, there's another unit of heavy cavalry coming in. I mean, you guys won't have ammunition forever. You're burning through it. <laughs> Pretty good rate. But you're doing good stuff. But these gunners... Yeah, there we go. There goes the general. So begin engaging these two men at long range. Because they're at full strength. Yes, so oh yes. Here they come. Form rank. Fire! There they go. The general's bodyguard's probably going to follow them. Follow them. We've got a unit of lancers coming across in fairly strong condition. You guys get out of square. Continue to engage. I could probably shuffle these guys along a bit to get my company infantry in there, but I don't think I really need to. Because you men. Yeah, they've been shattered. So form line once more. These guys have a good amount of ammunition. And there we go. So close. So close to my line. No, nope, there they go. 35th Dakil moving up, along with the 32nd. Dakili. Seek Musketeers. Or Seek Musketeers as well. Right, they've been quite badly annihilated. The general's charging. Here comes even more. We'll deal with them. Oh, as the general's bodyguard charges across the river, he'll come within range of everyone. Oh, poor souls. They're making a grand crossing, though. Oh, there goes one elephant. The general's bodyguard shattered. No general here. Sipahi are inbound. Now there we go, they've both they've all routed again. They might be trying to attack a different front now. These guys might try and cross the bridge. Doesn't normally happen. Oh no. No, yeah, no, don't do that. That's a bad idea. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna say. 
These are melee troops. I mean, they're good. They look cool. But it's just... Yeah, they're just very unfortunate that they are being ordered to do such suicidal things. Let's speed up. Speed up time a little bit just until we get to our next bit of slaughter. It's another unit of heavy cavalry charging in. Okay, I'll be careful now because i got to retarget my... How it is. So the one that's deployed a bit further to the left. Oh no, looks like the they've already abandoned the idea of pushing over the bridge except for more cavalry. You're gonna bump into this square, be drawn into battle and be taken out. Warm line. Cavalry's been routed over by the bridge as well. Oh no, they did come back. Speed up time a little bit. Absolute carnage. No, they're out of range. Let's see if these lancers can cross the bridge, I and mean, we've already got men in squares waiting for them. Nope. Yeah, I don't think they're going to make it. Do you? My cavalry is going to push up to attack the large mortars that are trundling in, but everyone else is just going to be slaughtered. Oh. Hiding through the taking cover behind elephant carcasses. No, nope, that's enough for them, they're shattered. I mean, the levy look like they might be a bit more determined to not be left behind, but I don't think it's going to make a huge amount of difference, because you're going to knock out the mortars. But over here, yeah, they've tried to cross the river. The kind of constant withering fire from my warbands. Well, see, the, the one of the warbands has run out of ammo. Yeah, there we go. That would be cruel to pursue them now, but that is a significant victory for us. That's done a huge amount of damage to their armies around Akbarabad. Ho oh, ho! Dead, dead retreated push the garrison back i mean they are still garrisoned now, don't get me wrong this isn't this isn't me going haha they're done for but they are trying to push around to the north well i'm going to send someone to auto kill them yeah you better garrison oh no like <laughs> i was about to say you better garrison no diaper I'm not quite sure where you're going to go either, because we've knocked down all our religious, all of our um, educational institutions. We've learned everything there is to know, and that's that. No large hadron colliders for us, no siree. God alive! They must think these troops are such a just a, a weight around their neck now. They're not doing anything with them, but all they they are costing them money. They're costing them money, and they're both of their... Co well, in India, they now lo no longer have a coastline. And the Atlantic and, Atlantic and um, Gulf coastlines... Workers' riot. Very well, they're rioting. So let's pull you guys out. Take Mr. Bruno. There we go. The firm words of 
Mr. Bruno are enough to steady their nerve. Fabiano Castelli, push up. You are within range to hit, Eugene. Which you are going to. Oh no, they're just out. That's unfortunate. You men push down and secure this bridge. I made a bird. Let's send this navy back. Okay, they're not within range to hit them either, so let's just pull you guys back. Ricchioli, push up. Niccolo Luzzatto, push up. Just form a real defensive line. Well, they've got nowhere to go. If they want to push, they can push. Well, Balthazare is in range to hit the capital, which this army inside here won't do anything because they are... It's a bit bugged. So Nino Chetti could march to support that attack. It's got to be a good idea. So we maintain siege there. That's the fly in the ointment. Well, to a degree... We can attack Akbarabad, we can attack Nagpur. You're just going to kill that little stack of chaps. Giorgio Matarazzi, march. Okay, let's take these two units and pull back. And this army. You guys all pull back to this section of the coast. Where you will be met by four three chips of the line. And then you'll be transported to the Americas. To be honest, so many units just pull back. Let's just start building ships to send us over there. Doesn't really matter what you build, just build ships. Baldessari Bayano, march up to Katak. You need to hold Akbarabad, but you need two units of interesting infantry. Sipoys will do. Nino Boscovich, you're not able to hit Eugene either, but I'm going to give you an attack order to do it. And no one's in. Ooh! Are you within range to attack Eugene? Big. Huge. Huge. Huge, 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 huge. So Balthazar, eh? You march past those armies. It's going to be a, potentially a bit tricky. But if I attack from this direction with these guys, yes! So because I've attacked from this side, the zone of control is now no longer big enough for one of these armies to come in to help them. So now we are positioned with a series of battles to fight to beat the Indian faction. But, <clears throat> so I won't forget to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, let's take, let's take... Mr. Venturi to attack Eugene, and then I'm going to end the episode here because I I, I might f if I attack Florida I might forget. No, I won't. Will I? Will I attack Flor? If I attack Florida, well, I need to take Florida. Otherwise, all of these guys will it will go horribly wrong. So if I attack Florida, even if in some weird universe I forget that I can kill India. In one, to, in one go, which I won't, I'll at least check around the map before I end turn. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Or, possibly, well, it will be, next episode, the end of the Indian faction, the end of the Mughal Empire. Radio. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed.